Um, I don't want to do these all. I don't want to call you out. Okay? I don't want... I didn't want everyone I knew and loved to destroy me, you know? Um, but when Chrissy, when you came here, came into my home, and I, you said you won't come with me, and I asked you to leave nicely, uh, you were outside acting a fool. I put headphones on in my bed. You were in my driveway for quite some time. You called the police. Police came into my home, took me out in handcuffs in my bed. When I am always nothing but respectful to the police officers, to the judges, to everybody, even when I know they're doing me wrong. Uh, I was brought to the hospital while Patrick was in my driveway. What the heck were you doing here, dudes? You know? But I was very respectful. Talked to the other cop. He was very nice. He used to work in New York City. He was talking about my dad, you know. But I let it go because I didn't think the hospital was going to keep me. When I got to the hospital, you know, this one nurse. I will find out who you are, by the way. You know, the one that was very rude to a patient in distress, that we had some beef because I stood up for that patient. <laughs> yeah, I do that. Uh, when you said who, like, I am your nurse, and I said, what does that mean? I'm a human being. When I yelled at you, I said, I'm higher above than you, or whatever I said. I'll find out your name, by the way, because you're trash. Um, you people don't get to treat people like this. And then when I found out the other nurse... When it was time, I kept saying, because I was in there for hours. For no reason, by the way. Um, I was very polite. I'm very polite during all this. Because what? Fighting? I'm not like you trash people that fight and stick up. Even when I know I'm wrong, I know it's not going to do any good. So when she fought, when she acted suspicious, the other ones, the ones that were flirting with the other, you know, the staff, you're, you're all trash, by the way. I'll find out who you are. And then when you acted funny, I noticed when you were like, because I kept asking, like, can I go home? <laughs> and um, when you, that one, I'll find out who you two are, by the way. When you went to ask the nurse, you acted all suspicious. It was weird. And then when the doctor was talking to me on virtual, because, you know, she wasn't in the building or whatever. And she was quite rude to me as well and said I had to stay. Um, fine. It was unjust, all of this. And I said, okay, cool, maybe I'll get a rest. <laughs> Quite tired from moving from three years and abuse and, you know, yada, yada. And, um, so, I, I have been nothing but respectful this whole time, even in the hospital. I would love to see what you all wrote about me on that police incident report and the doctor's report. Because even now... With court, nobody even listens to what I have to say. It's all that I'm crazy and mental from that report. So, Chrissy and Patrick, you ruined my life. You took my child away from his mother. I hope you feel good about that. I don't feel bad about saying this either. And then when I asked Kevin, I asked him not to. At the time, I felt I felt something was off in my family. So, I asked him not to give Kevin with my dog. You know, I asked him for my medical records. I, I just, there's something going on. I knew it. What was Patrick even doing on my house? The last time he was here, I knew he was wearing a wire. And I, he kept coming in asking for drugs. I said, show me your arms, dude. Because, like, you know, show me you're not a junkie. Stop, stop. What are you doing here? I knew he was wearing a wire. Probably got in trouble trying to put stuff on me. You people have to stop doing this. Okay, yeah, I'm going to call you out because you ruined my life. Okay, so now they won't even listen to me? About what I have to say about my child's safety or mine. Nobody cares. What is up, y'all? Whose job is it? Okay. So, um. I'm just freaking over it. I'm exhausted. Nobody, even when I speak to my lawyer, they don't help me. So I need another lawyer. I mean, come on. I don't want anything to do with my family or friends. For a good, damn good reason. I'm completely sober. All the things that were slandering and lied about to me. I would love to see the police reports, please. Why there's this investigation on me, please. What's going on, please? These are my rights. And when in the court, I was nothing but calm and nice. All I said was, excuse me, uh, Your Honor. She jumped down my throat, says I shouldn't interrupt. I mean, this is so wrong. 
All I care about is the safety of me and my child. Why my child was taken away from me is BS. I just got a paper in the mail from CPS yesterday. No, Saturday, whatever. From March. Nobody answers my calls. My lo Nobody cares what I have to say. That's why I started this channel. You don't like it that I expose you? You shouldn't be corrupt. Amen.